Hey guys, welcome to Nail IB's Economics HL and SL for the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. I'm Ame, your mentor and tutor for this course, and I cannot be more excited to start with you guys right as of this moment. So guys, welcome to chapter one of the entire IBDP economics course. So guys, in this video series, we'll be covering the entirety of chapter one. And by the time this chapter ends, you should be able to have a solid understanding and grasp of the major economic concepts and the very nuances that drive this discipline. In today's video, in this video to be precise, we'll be talking about some important definitions, a little details about the general understanding about economics as well as the resources that one can have. And essentially, that's all for this video. I cannot wait to get started. And enough with the formalities, let's get right to it. So first things first, as I've said before, this is one textbook that you should have. And frankly, it's one that IB implores you to have as well. It's Jocelyn Blinks and Ian Dorton's Economics Course Companion, second edition for the Oxford IB Diploma Program, okay? So essentially, guys, I don't know why it says 2012 over there. This one was published in 2020. So guys, what you need to be using in tandem with this course is this textbook. However, if you don't have this textbook, please don't worry, as this course is more than sufficient for you to have a solid understanding of IB economics, okay? So, please try to get this textbook. And if you can't, it's completely fine. All right. And finally, what is economics? Okay. Economics, it is a discipline which involves the study of decision making and understanding why people make the decisions they do. It is thus a social science because it is centered around people. It tries to understand why society acts in the way it does and why people make the decisions it does. So essentially, economics is a study of human decision making leading to a, an efficient as well as the best possible allocation of scarce resources. Okay, fun fact, all right. It, the name economics is actually derived from two Greek words. Oikos nomio, all right, essentially means managing the household where oikos means the household and nemion means management. You combine the both, it becomes oikos nomio. And this has evolved over time to mean managing household resources efficiently. These Greek words have now transposed themselves on our modern understanding of what it means to study economics. So oikos nomio meant managing household resources efficiently. You know, back when Greek wives took care of household resources, managed income, and essentially provided for the entire family in an efficient manner. People soon understood that the same household principles that were followed by everyone, it could actually be applied to run entire city-states or polices. And that is where modern economics was born. Back in the whole first century BC, all right, so 100 BC, around that time. So essentially once this whole understanding that simple household methods for efficient resource management can be utilized to manage an entire country, economics was born, all right? So that's where the name economics comes from, oikos nomio. Moving on. It is very important that you guys start using economic words, all right, vernacular. Now, first things first, all right, the basic concept in economics is that there are a lot of people who want and need a multitude of things. They want a lot of stuff, okay? There is me, there is you, there are my parents, there are your parents, and they all we all want and need things, okay? But there are not enough resources to fulfill all our needs and wants, okay? 
and that is the very foundation of economic understanding that there are finite resources in the world but infinite needs and wants so obviously not everyone's needs and wants can be satisfied right now what is needs and wants what are needs and wants over here okay needs are those products all right goods and services without which human survival is not possible okay needs are essentially like what the united nations has stipulated food clothes shelter medicine they are needs without which human survival is just not possible okay and well what are wants they are the exact opposite all right wants are goods and services okay which are not essential to human survival like i don't know perhaps my gucci sunglasses or a neighbor's ferrari or a bmw these are wants goods and services without which we can survive okay so essentially everyone has needs and wants and they are infinite we never stop wanting them and as there are not enough resources to satisfy all of them economics requires an efficient allocation of resources okay that is the foundation of economics it believes that there are infinite needs and wants because there are a lot of people a lot of needs a lot of wants but only a finite amount of resources to satisfy them because we only have one planet right now so essentially the population is going to keep growing but our resources are limited so this is exactly what economics helps us overcome how to allocate those scarce resources how to make sure that these resources are put to their best possible use okay that's essentially the foundation of economics very simple but very very important please always keep this in mind okay moving on i just mentioned goods and services okay this must be common knowledge right but in economic terms all right goods are tangible products goods can be essentially this bottle that i'm holding over here or it can be this book i'm holding over here essentially anything which i can hold all right anything which i can touch feel purchase okay tangible products like cars houses books shoes essentially goods are those which you can purchase and you can hold all right services are those which are intangible they are intangible activities they are not something you can hold but rather experience all right now some examples of services would be haircuts massages education healthcare you can't hold education you can't hold a haircut right so that's exactly what a service is it's an intangible activity for which you pay a price goods are tangible products all right which you can hold and for which you have to pay right and that is essentially the premise of economics all right goods and services needs and wants and finally we come to the fact that economics is necessary because as i said before and i will elaborate again there are infinite needs and wants understand this guys in your whole neighborhood all right there are a lot of people maybe you live in a suburban environment maybe you live in perhaps new york city apartment there are a lot of people around you and even if all their current needs and wants were satisfied they would still want more right thus we see that human nature causes the needs and wants in our world to be infinite right however there are only a finite amount of resources to satisfy those needs and wants okay it means that perhaps my neighbor will get what he or she wants but i won't or maybe i will get what i want and my neighbor doesn't okay 
because there aren't enough resources, not everyone can be satisfied. And this gives rise to the issue of scarcity. Scarcity is something that we will be looking at in depth in the next video. So for this video, we just learned the important words, concepts, and definitions, the very premise of economics, all right, which nuances we're supposed to respect, all right, and basically a foundational understanding of the entire economic theory, all right? So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you understood and were able to take a grasp of this basic premise, all right? If you didn't, go right back to the part where I was explaining and understand it. I cannot stress enough, if you feel uncomfortable with a concept, which is perfectly fine, all right? Go back, try to understand it, and once you've understood it, all right, only then proceed, okay? You know, be in a hurry to finish the course or, you know, just speed through the entire coursework. Don't, all right? Understand everything, absorb it, and then move on, okay? Because in IB economics, understanding is key and understanding leads to that excellent score that we all want for each other, all right? So guys, in the next video, we'll be talking about scarcity and I can't wait to get started with you guys over there. So that's it for now. I will see you next class. And until then, good night.